In the Hundred Years' War, the English used a terror tactic, a raid through enemy territory intended to intimidate and provoke the French into battle. It was called Chevauchet. The principal weapon for Chevauchet was fire. And one of the ways it was delivered was with incendiary arrows. Challenge with incendiary arrows? Keeping them alight. One type of incendiary arrow was fueled with gunpowder. You've got charcoal, got sulfur, and we've got saltpeter. Saltpeter is the main ingredient. The more oxygen you put into it, the hotter it burns. Of course, when it's on an arrow, when it's being shot, you've got a turbocharged airstream. The chemicals are bound together with brandy, left to dry and poured into a linen bag. The extra long arrowhead is inserted into the bag and then tied off to secure it. It is then sealed by dipping it into boiling tree resin. This resin, which itself is highly flammable, provides a waterproof casing. It also shields the burning gunpowder so the wind doesn't put it out in flight. Now that looks deadly and I really want to shoot it. The art to shooting an incendiary arrow is timing. Too early and it will go out. Too late, it will spit at you like a dragon. That was just evil. <laughs> that was great. The word chevauchet means horse raid, and it was mobile light horsemen who spearheaded the attacks. They took gold and silver from the churches, valuables from wealthy citizens, and as much food and drink as they could find from anyone. A chevauchet was scorched earth warfare to create discontent amongst the enemy's subjects perhaps even to get them to turn against their king. An army on campaign needed a decisive battle. And a chevauchet was intended to taunt the enemy to come out and fight.